Assalamu alaikum Sayyidi Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah Is the bringing the throne within a blink of an eye example of teaching of speed of thought? Also, what did Queen Sheba realize when she realized the floor was crystal glass? <coughs> we have talks on the importance of the Sulaiman power. The Sulaimaniya is salam, Sayyidina Sulaiman is salam and the reality of that heavenly kingdom and the immensity of the power of the heavenly kingdom upon earth. When we understand and study that reality, these are the signs of the heavenly kingdom on this earth and the entry back into the heavenly kingdoms in the world of light. And the shaitans that don't have the heavenly kingdom, they try to imitate and fool their students that they have power from the heavenly kingdom. So those are important understandings to understand why we teach what we teach. So the issue of bringing the throne that Sayyidina Sulaiman wanted to show his power and the might of Allah because they say she has a powerful throne. And the kingdom is Sheba, the queen is Bilgis and she was half jinn and her father was a king who married a jinn, jinn queen from their kingdom. And the issue and the story we've told before of the father had issues with his wife because her jinn reality he couldn't understand or comprehend their world and he went off into the woods in search of her as she left and ran away back into the jinn world. He left the kingdom to Bilgis, so she's half jinn in nature and as a result they built for her a tremendous palace and kingdom and a throne room. Sayyidina Sulaiman was told that her throne is magnificent. So to show Allah's azimat said, we'll bring it here so that she'll bow down to us and understand our authority when you take that throne and bring it there. And the story, this is just the summary that the ifrit, the shaitans that were under his command said, we will bring it but it takes time but Allah didn't want him to use the ifrit. So then these are the two powers that are in dunya now. The Ifrit said, we'll bring it, it takes time but they were going to steal it. And a Prophet of Allah can't steal the property of anyone. But the one whom he had, Asim, As- Asim was the name of the, his learned man, Asim, the learned one of the book of the Torah. He's bring it in a, I'll bring it in a blink of an eye and he brought an exact replica of that throne into the palace of Sayyidina Sulaiman So means the reality is that Sayyidina Sulaiman was about to use two powers. One if he had set the precedent of using ifrit then everybody would have been using shayateen and ifrit to do things. But Allah set the precedent for religious reasons and religious ideology is don't go to their power, don't use their power but use your kitab. And if the Torah had that power and the Torah's reality exists within the reality of Holy Qur'an because Holy Qur'an is the power of all powers. So means anyone whom has knowledge of the book, knowledge of kitabullah then they can move and bring things by the speed of thought. And this is why Allah gives hadith of Qudsi that you do your fad, you come with voluntary worship, what happens? I become your hearing, you hear with seeing, the breath you breathe, the tongue in which you speak, the hands in which you touch, the feet in which you move, then what? You become Rabbaniyoon and you have power of kum fayakum. So means Rabbaniyoon they have been given by Allah power of kum fayakun and this hadith of Qudsi, this is not somebody making up you know whimsical stories. Allah says, for there are servants 
that have the power of kun fayakun. So he's giving this example of the Muhammadan kingdom that the prophets of Bani Israel, look at the power they had but the Muhammadan kingdom something is unimaginable. The authority and the power they had because all of the power of Sayyidina Sulaiman was from a ring. And Prophet gave to all his nation that carry my ring and my sunnah. And when he wants he can make that ring to have more power than the ring of Sayyidina Sulaiman because we're under the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad Malikul Mulk, the one whom is all encompassing in authority from Allah Sahallakum ma fi samawati wa ma fil ard. Allah says, We have given everything to you from the earth all the way into the malakut and anything between them. So, means this shows the immensity of the Muhammadan kingdom by these examples. InshaAllah. <coughs> Subhana rabbika rabbil izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa siri Surat al Fatiha. As Salaamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.